as you know there's a lot of, a lot of gear in this yard some of it's cool but in my opinion oh not that Yeah, it's fixed. It's just taking a rest there. Can rest for itself. Stretch your legs after a while. It just needs a, a little bit more of a rest. Got the Range Rover flying it. Took her into town this morning to get a few messages and coffee for me and Vicky. And she's new tires, she's serviced. She's just grand yolk. Got a new battery as well. That seemed to be the problem with the electrics. It needed a brand new battery voltage has to be spot on on them uh, and she's saucy on the diesel I won't lie she's a bit saucy on the diesel but sure she does fuck off that's great just a couple of more days and they'll all be out and they're in red as well and they are they're swish look they have making big bank on them they're making big bank on the zip they're making big bank on me whole a uh, couple more days Having a tremendously bad start to this day. Got up this morning and to go meet someone in Tullamore. I drove all the way to Tullamore. Went there, I was waiting. I didn't panic, he was a little bit late. And then he rang me 10, 15 minutes after the time I was supposed to meet him and said he couldn't, couldn't come. He hadn't time to ring. Come back here, collect stuff. Let's go back into town, collect more stuff. There's loads of people asking about these. Come on. Watch. Even have it on the bag. Cool. Now you're looking half decent. <laughs> but, um, yeah, look. And. Which one? There's making big bank on the back. Yeah. Now there's um there isn't that many, so I got one order of them. Um I wanted to see how they go, try to get the best stuff that I could. Um I'm hoping to have them up tonight or tomorrow. And I'm aware that people in the US and Australia are panicking that I don't have my stuff ready to sail, but I am trying. Uh postage takes a while. Well, I just said I'd show you. Now, this is a, a medium. Normally, I'd probably wear a large. But I'll just show you. It is zipped up, and there's Jane dancing. Well, yeah. And there's my hole. So, there you go. There's a watch now. If you look, Stephen has making big bank. Stringy thing, isn't that right? So yeah, got them in black and red. Where is it? The piece de resistance. Now I have a very, very limited number of these, and these are my earned it timber box making big bank. Just... <gasps> oh, no, no, don't you'll break it. That's a tongs. You can hold that, don't break it. <gasps> Right, and there's the stones. There's a little bag to put them in the fridge. And here. Look. Oh, How cool are they? It's cute. For, they're like ice, but they're stones. Thank you. You're the best girl, aren't you? Definitely didn't drop them. So. No, they won't break it. No. Yes, absolutely. My dad is a weirdo. <laughs> you can't even see a thing. There. Anyway, because he'd be giving out to me for stuff I watch. Like, I'd just be minding my own business, watching the television, and he'd be like, you shouldn't be watching that. It's too, it's not good for your brain, and stuff, and stuff like that. He listens to weird, like, weird audiobooks about, like, random stuff. And then he'd be watch. and then he'd watch, when he watches television, he'd be watching about stuff about, like, Dis like discoveries, physics, space, and drugs, and they don't, they, if, if, if it's just me, I'm not a big fan of this stuff, so I don't know, they don't have anything got to do with each other, and then like one time, actually, one time, 
well, this is a lot of time. Every Saturday, my dad lets me stay up and watch something with him. One time, he put on this, like, physic yoke about, like, how, um, what are they called? How mushrooms will change. What's that? Did you hear? Yeah. Did you hear the Christmas owl? Yeah. No way. Did you? Yeah. Let's see him. Let's see, can we hear him? Let's go look for him. Just do it. What have you to lose? You've nothing to lose and everything to gain. And people will laugh anyway. But they won't be laughing when you make it. Like you could make it. A vlogging, a business, whatever it is. Do you think I'm not afraid of everything that I go to do? I'm always afraid. I'm always, I'm terrified when I go to do stuff. I'm just more afraid of doing nothing. That terrifies me more. Because you can fail anyway. So you might as well just... Stay chancing it. <laughs> Just go over it. Do it. Do you. That's been flat out working all day. That's him there. Ordering. And yes, I am doing a Snapchat takeover. And before, and before, you start judging me. Oh, Lily's hair is so messy. Blah, blah, blah. And I, and yes, I am in my pajamas. So don't you dare judge me. I'm being honest with you, I just had a shower. We're coming back to get our food. They're getting Chinese. We're getting Marianne's because Marianne's is the bomb. Bomb. Such good food. Got Eddie Fadlins today. I'm living the best life. Yeah, my dad so my dad's in there and yeah. So he's been flat out working all day, so if you're wondering why he wasn't doing videos, he was bringing us around and then he was doing flat out working and yeah. Bye. Bear with me, my dad does not know we took the phone and got Chinese. I'm vibing. We're getting that old crap. <laughs> anyway, I. You take my phone. <laughs> Get out of their phone. Get off it. I want to say something funny. Right, go ahead. So, you always used to say to mommy that leaving the Range Rover on is bad and that it's wasting diesel and diesel is so expensive nowadays. And you always need to Jeep. Uh, Never drive it. You were just, you're just driving it right mommy, now. Mommy said this was smoky, so I'm taking the cobwebs out. <laughs> do you want to hear something funny? Dad, do you want to hear something funny? Yeah, go push that thing. And even if you didn't want to say it, even if you didn't want me to say it, I would have said it. So there's no point in saying no. But I find this funny. When Daddy, uh, uh. <laughs> when Mommy got to this car, you winch the ball, winch the ball. <laughs> winch the ball? Yes. Don't worry, I heard you crying yourself sleep. I didn't, I just said there was no car and rain. And me and Mommy, trust, me and Mommy did not care. We were like, we're getting car. So you cried about it, we made you go get it. And all we said was, cry you may, go you must. <laughs> <laughs> and now he loves it. I don't and love it. Guys, look at this. There's a house here that has your Christmas decoration. Is that true, Harley? Yes. Five days old. It's five days p p past Halloween. If you're wondering where I heard, cry you may, go you must. Well, my dad would always say it to me. When I wanted, when I didn't want to go to school, when I didn't really want to at all, and you can't blame me. No one wants to. You just have to do it. Like, you know. It's a good saying. Yeah. So Daddy would always say it to me, and I get so, so, so tickled. You know what I heard? And it? now it's my turn. You know what I heard that saying? Where? My, my uncle Lar. God rest his soul. He used to say it all the time. certain death you were gonna fall off the chair and I saved you say thank you because you nearly broke your what did you nearly break? break my neck 
What did Parrox say to you? A door. He called you a door? Yeah. That's not very nice. No, no, don't. We don't solve our problems with violence here. <laughs> Hey, what does your hair smell like? It's washed. It's washed? Yeah. Is it nice? Yeah.